Guys, how we doing? We're back out at our daycare center. We did some flail mowing out here last year. It is early spring. It's the middle of March, St. Patrick's Day, actually. And gonna get a little bit of mowing done before the season starts. That way we can kind of all start from scratch out here in the middle. Everything's dead, but it's kind of matted down. So we're gonna break that up and, and cut it all down. And then around the perimeter as well, a lot of brush. Um, some of these areas later in the season are very wet and mucky. Right now they're actually really dry which I'm kind of surprised about. So we can get a little bit further in there and tackle some more brush and kind of keep everything at bay as it tends to overgrow throughout the, the year. So a really quick recap, if you didn't see the overview video about this flail mower, um, this one requires some additional hydraulics to run it. It's a bigger flail mower for larger tractors, maybe a three series John Deere or a four series like what you see here, or something equivalent to a, in a Kubota, you know, Mahindra, something along that same frame size. If you want something smaller for a 1025 or a 2 Series, we offer those as well with all manual setups. You don't need the additional hydraulics. So check out the website or look at the comparison where we take this Centurion flail mower and compare it to the Funny Top that does not require the additional hookups. Basically, we're gonna try a few different things today, mowing around the perimeter, really utilizing that offset capability. You might be surprised just how far this thing can offset that way. And if we can get up to some of the ditch bank areas as well, also realizing that tilt capability when it can kind of tilt down into the ditch while the tractor is up on more level ground. And then even potentially doing more of a vertical cut, just kind of completely tilting it and raising it up this way and seeing if we can trim off some areas around the, the perimeter of the field here. Hey, so if you enjoyed this video, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you and make sure you hit that subscribe button right down underneath the video. And as always, read through the description as well. There's gonna be all sorts of helpful links down there for tractor owners or head on over to goodworkstractors.com. Here we go. Him in this zipping around. Is that what it was, you think? I think it bound it up. I don't think it bound it up. I think it was like zipping around though. You can see right here where it was just whacking. See all the take all the paint right off? All around this section here. Here and there. I think it was just going so fast.
So early spring, like right now, is a really good time actually to get out and mow because when it's really thick out here in the summertime, you don't know what's hidden in the weeds. And this time of year, you can actually have a pretty good look at what's kind of tucked down underneath there and see if there's any, you know, really hidden obstacles that you don't want to make contact with with your flail mower or your brush hog. I'm intentionally maxing this thing out. I'm taking on some stuff that's over the rating. It's rated for up to two inch material. Uh, there's been some trunks that are definitely pushing that two inch limit. Uh, some clumps of like kind of shrubby brush or autumn olive that are pushing that limit for sure. I just want to see how it does and kind of show you guys how it does. I don't want to ever come across that I'm, you know, taking it easy on my equipment. You know, if it's rated to do something, I want to find out for myself if it can actually handle that and show you guys as well. Couple things I'm thinking of as they kind of come to me. Uh, one, I'm using a mower with hammer blades on it. So you have Y blades and hammer blades. Hammer blades are going to be geared more towards heavy brushy material like what we have around this perimeter with all these different uh, saplings and, and bushes and shrubs that are kind of growing up and as well as whatever mysterious things we're finding hidden in the weeds. The Y blades are really going to excel in be more for a primary purpose of weeds and tall grasses. They'll still handle uh, you know, the, the shrubs and the limited quantity of saplings, but kind of pick your poison there on what you think is gonna be your primary focus, if it's gonna be a lot of heavy, dense undergrowth, or if it's gonna be more grasses and weeds, and let that guide you. But again, we've done a video previously with a Y-blade flail mower out here, so you can see how that really does mowing down the grasses and the weeds and even use it for just a small strip just to test it out as a actual finish mower like if you're going to mow your lawn and now this is another look at the same property yes different times of year but you can still see how these hammer blades perform on not only grasses and weeds but brush and shrubs and branches as well and the one other thing that you may notice is you can use this flail mower going forwards or backwards especially in certain areas here where it's maybe um, uncomfortable or you have to kind of weave in between bigger trees, you can just back right in there and still mow uh, as it's going backwards or if you're going forwards either way. So it's a little bit of added versatility with that as well. So we've got a little gouge going on one side back there. If I'm sitting in the operator station, it's on the left side. I don't know exactly what's causing that. We are turning a slow left turn the entire time. So it may just be something to do with that slow left turn, more pressure kind of being put on the outside of it. It's nothing terrible, but it's, it's, a, it's a gouge, just like with it's scraping up a little bit of the dirt. So uh, not the end of the world. We're going to make some tweaks and see if we can figure out what was causing that. Maybe adjust the angle a little bit or... Um, I got a lot of hydraulics going on back there besides just what's on the uh, the flail mower itself. So I'm going to mess with those a little bit as well just to see if we can kind of fine tune it and get that sweet spot.
I'm glad I got it done this year. This is something I've wanted to do for many, many years, but just kind of give a clean slate back here. Within a couple of months, this will all grow up and then I'll be out here mowing trails for the kids at the daycare center to kind of come have a nice, fun nature area to, to play around in and see what kind of bugs and butterflies and anything else that's floating around out here. You know, it's always fun to get out on the tractor and play around with a new attachment. Today was no exception to that rule, so I love highlighting this stuff for you. If you've used one of these flail mowers or you have a question, leave a comment down below. If I can't answer it, maybe somebody else can as well. And if you want more information, make sure you head on over to GoodWorksTractors.com. I can ship these all over the country. I do it all the time, so I'm happy to help. As always, if you like what you see here, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button right down below and make sure you read through that description right underneath the video. There's going to be all sorts of links down there for different tractor products or head on over to GoodWorksTractors.com. You're going to find all sorts of helpful information, pictures, sometimes video links, description, pricing, weight, dimensions, all the variations that are available. If you want to send me an email, I can get you a shipping quote. We can send it right to your door as well. Thanks so much for stopping by. Until next time, stay safe.